This sucks, man. Joe Biden's stupid economy. I want a new gun. Man. I wish I could have one of those really cool AR-15 pistols from Queen City Arms with the go-fast trigger in it. Whoa! Dude! Dude! That is... Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Man, I wish I had an AMT 30 caliber auto mag. That would be so cool. Whoa! Dude! Two of them? Two of them! <laughs> Dude, dude, all right, that is so cool. Thank you, therapy range. Pretty please, pretty please, pretty please, therapy range. I wish I had an M1 Grand. <laughs> it worked, it's an M1 Grand. Oh, and it's loaded. Oh, so satisfying. So satisfying. It's time to shut up and shoot. Go, bring my Chevy if you're ready to ride in. Hi, here we go. I got a baby blowing over with a demon inside me. Be sure to check out Sure Shot Shooting Supplies, the official ammo sponsor of Therapy Range. Welcome to another episode of Therapy Range. It's M1 Grand time. The M1 Grand. An actual weapon of war. We hear it so, uh, spoken so frequently that uh, we don't need weapons of war in the hands of civilians. But they constantly are talking about AR-15s, which are actually not weapons of war that were never designed to be a weapon of war. It's a civilian model rifle, sporting rifle. Whereas this... This bad boy was designed in 1924, saw action from 1936 to 1959. In two years, this design will be 100 years old. But the difference between this and the AR-15, well, there's a lot of differences between this and the AR-15. But the predominant difference is that this actually is, in fact, a weapon of war. This weapon was carried into, into Germany in World War II. And this type of weapon has got literally thousands of bodies stacked up with them when the United States invaded Europe uh, to put an end to Germany's tyranny and, and uh, genocide. This was the weapon that a, a lot of the servicemen carried. She's a heavy gun, but it's a solid gun. It's a piece of American history, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to have this here on the range today to show you guys. It takes an eight round stripper clip. It's got a box, internal box magazine. It's chambered in 30 out six. A lot of folks call 45 ACP the Lord's caliber. I tend to think that if the Lord was to carry a long gun, it'd be the M1 Grand chambered in 30 out six. Because the 30 out 6 just tends to break everything that gets in front of it. I'm going to throw this in the lead sled and we're going to throw a few shots down range and see what kind of accuracy that we can score off of this uh, old, old Springfield Arms rifle. Springfield Armory. Forgive me for my incorrectness. I think it's time to shut up and shoot. We're back at about 30, 35 yards because this thing does throw some spall. Let's get this thing adjusted in here a little bit and send some lead down range. All right. 
Headshots for everybody. That was a hit. That went bang. I think I missed that one. It's hard to see that green target with the sun where it's at. There it was. There was a hit. All right. Let's, uh, let's shoot those AR-500 plates down there that we were shooting at the other day. See if his 30 out 6 will make it through a single layer of AR-500. God. <laughs> it said ping. All right, let's go down and check out and see what kind of results that we got. So there's our hit from about 35 yards. So you see we're, uh, we're hitting a little low to the left. There's the hit on that one. Almost missed it. I had them marked up here. That's what I was aiming for was the red dots, but I couldn't see it from that far away. But yeah, I still got a good hit on it. Consistently hitting off to low, low to the left. Either I'm really consistent at not hitting what I'm aiming at or the gun's hitting off to the left. And that's just not possible because I'm a great shot. Oh shit, Karen, you scared the living Jesus out of me. When did you get here? I thought you were on vacation. All right, so Karen, our friendly neighborhood ATF field agent, has made sure to come out, for those that haven't watched the channel before, Karen comes out to make sure that we stay within the guidelines of what's legal and what's not legal. All right, Karen's just here to make sure that I keep myself out of trouble and out of the hospital. Thank you, Karen. All right, let's check out these AR-500 plates. Holy shit, Karen brought a friend. Who the hell is that? What, you gonna give me the silent treatment now? I thought we were friends. Fine, be that way. You better mind your business. I don't know you. All right, so I ran out of rounds. I got one, two, three positive hits. And this AR-500 has me really confused, okay? Because the holes that are in those plates were all punched in them with the uh, 5.56 ammunition. But yet then I, when I throw up a uh, 30-06 that these plates aren't even rated to stop, well, it stopped it. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. All right. You guys want to shoot some more shit with the 30 out six let's break some stuff all right we'll do it but we're only going to do it together yeah together it's time to shut up and shoot who wants to see me get grand thumbed hold the handle back keeps it from biting you <laughs> that was kind of cool Hey, how many shots has that been? I wasn't counting, like five. Yeah. Is that a... Karen, who are all these people you brought out here today? What, did you bring a whole freaking field team with you? There's nothing weird about that at all. I don't like it, Karen. I don't like it one bit. All right. 30 out six, let's uh, hit that little piece of plate steel up there. That was violent. Body armor. Oh, oh, I think it went through the body armor. Oh, it most definitely went through the body armor. Man. 
Focus on the bricks. And that, my friends, is how you make gravel on Therapy Range. I think we should smash those bricks the rest of the way down. What do you think, camera guy? Sharp and shoot. No grand thummy. One second. You ready? Good. check it out she's smoking look at that smoke coming up off the gun living in America God I love it all right let's have a look see at what 30 out six does the brick jeez Well, there's where it hit that plate and almost punched a hole through it. Ugh. There's where it hit that plate. It's got a nice dimple on it. I mean, it's got a dent in there, but it didn't make it through. Which is really weird, because the holes that are in here are uh, 5.56 five, and 2.23 rounds. So it, it's really puzzling to me why, why it is it didn't go through those, but whatever. Oh, here's our level three plate. We got four hits on it. That one was already there. So we got one, two, three, four, 30 out six hits. Holes, 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 holes everywhere, holes. That traveled through the level two A body armor and turned these cinder blocks into gravel. I was wondering how I was going to be able to afford to get gravel on the range this year. Well, I think I know how to do it now. I just need a bunch of cinder block. So anybody out there that has a lot of cinder block in their life, please get a hold of me. And I will turn your cinder block into gravel for therapy range. It's a public service. I care. I really care. If it wasn't for awesome cats like you, and the cat that loaned me the AMTs, the cat that loaned me the Go Fast. Um, you guys are all really, really awesome. And I can't express to you how much I appreciate the generosity that you have shown. I'm not sure if it's supposed to, to hang up like that or not. I want to say no. But uh, I'm not really all that familiar with this old weapon, so maybe they all ran like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just dry. It needs a little TLC. But uh, I've got eight rounds left. Let's heat this old boy up. All right, headshots. Nope, gonna miss. And just like that, she's out of ammo. Boy, I tell you what, this is a lot of fun. And you should be jealous. You should, holy shit. And this is getting creepy, Karen. Whoa, this shit's getting creepy. All right. I'm going to get out of here before more freaking FBI agents, ATF agents show up wanting to give me a hard time. Guys, live your life to the fullest. Anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. Look at what's going on in our legislation in America today. Tell me, tell me with a straight face that people aren't out there wanting to remove what little bit of freedom you have left. Stay free, America. Your children's freedom and your grandchildren's freedom rely on it. I demand it! Straight Shooter Coffee, the official coffee of Therapy Range.